All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion for a 2024 Apple Plus original film that I think it came out this morning because I'd never heard of it, never seen anything about it, and honestly, it's it just piqued my interest. And, um, you know... I, I normally don't do Apple Plus things, but I thought I'd give this a chance. So here's my review for the instru instructors. Uh, here's a plot. Rory and Kobe are unlikely partners thrown together for a heist. However, when it goes awry, they team up to outrun police. Back, uh, uh, backward uh, aristocrats, aka politicians, and vengeful crime bosses. Uh, here is some of the cast. So here's an honest question. Was this supposed to be funny? Because it was just annoying and just annoying with annoying characters with the worst heists. I love Matt Damon but never been a fan of Casey Affleck, as far as I can tell. But both characters just went on and on for comic relief, uh, for comic effect, and it was way overdone. It felt like they were down, like they downed a lot of caffeine before each scene. Very unlikable character, especially Affleck's character. He was it's definitely right away just one of those pricks you know that it's just like those young pricks that uh, and you got one in each highs that's so cocky and this everything it's just really annoying and overdone with the trope of it the story was bland like a very generic heist gone wrong film with high action sequences but with super dry humor that felt forced at times and of course the pacing was sluggish but that could easily be because of the result of how dry the character stories felt. Same with the whole story as a whole. A lot of big names, but a horrible use for them, unfortunately. I honestly don't even know why I watch Apple Plus films anymore. Most have never had good writing. Their shows, on the other hand, uh, are very, very good for the most part from the ones I have seen. I uh, can't wait for Silas Season 2. You'll be getting a review for that. Um, but yeah, this film was very boring, draggy, and somewhat cringy. And definitely forced a lot with the comedy. And stuff in general. But here's my writing. I'll come back to my font thoughts. Honestly, I kind of just randomly threw this in this morning... When I saw it, and you know, just for traffic use, you know, on the channel. Um, even though I, I always go into hoping these are good because I don't like my time wasted. And honestly, I felt strongly like this film wasted my time. Now, luckily, I didn't technically have to pay for it because I'm subscribed monthly to Apple TV. But I, it still kind of feels like a waste of time. Um, I definitely don't recommend this, and I say avoid this, this film altogether. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not really seeing, I mean, I'm seeing why people tend to not be too big on the Apple Plus series streaming service. Um, yeah, again, they got great shows, but not a whole lot of shows that I have seen in general, so I can't really say that they're all good, um, but definitely the Two or three I've seen are, are, are good. And there's I think there's been at least one Apple Plus film that is actually was enjoyable. Um, not the greatest, but you know, I, I would have to look back because I've done so many videos on movies over the years that I keep forgetting, even no matter how memorable they are of, of what they are, what I've done. So um, but yeah, what what are you guys' thoughts? Leave them down below. Uh, yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Let's go.